In 2013, a 16-year-old boy from Tijuana, Mexico, fresh off his pro debut, was watching the greatest Mexican fighter of this generation, Canelo Alvarez, take on the face of boxing at the time in Floyd Mayweather, aspiring to one day earn that type of fight. Fast forward over a decade later, Canelo is now the face of boxing, a four-division world champion, the current undisputed super middleweight king, and his next opponent is that same 16-year-old boy who goes by the name Jaime Munguia. Munguia looks to close the show! And they're gonna stop it right there! It's over! Jaime Munguia's homecoming! A rousing Munguia is six years younger, started his career eight years later, and two divisions below where Canelo was fighting at the time. How he caught up to earn this opportunity is by fighting at least four times a year for the first six years of his career. In 2018, that activity led him to his first world title shot. Fittingly, a super welterweight championship, the same division Canelo captured his first. But by this time, Canelo had just defeated Gennady Golovkin in the rematch to become the unified middleweight king. To finish off the year, Munguia defended his gold twice, and Canelo jumped up to 168 to earn his third division title. The chase continued. 2019, Munguia defended three more times. Canelo came back down to 160 to beat Daniel Jacobs, and then went all the way up to 175 to beat Sergei Kovalev for his fourth division crown. At the start of 2020, Munguia inched closer to Canelo in weight and moved up to middleweight himself. But of course, the pandemic hit and forced both of them to not return to the ring until the end of the year. And this was when Canelo started his mission to become undisputed super middleweight champion. Munguia remained at 160. 2021, Canelo would complete the mission and the 168 pound collection. And despite Munguia's continued middleweight success, he couldn't get the world title shot he was after, mostly because Triple G was holding up the division. After he lost to Dimitri Bivol in 2022 at light heavyweight, Canelo moved back down to 168, and possibly for good. In doing so, Munguia saw his opportunity. His first fight in 2023, and first true one at super middleweight, he challenged himself in the toughest moment of his career, taking on the formidable Sergei Derevchenko. And if anyone not named Canelo is going to welcome you to super middleweight, there is arguably none better to test yourself against than Derevchenko. The fight proved to be everything Munguia needed to acclimate himself with the new weight. A fight of the year candidate saw him pull off a 12th round knockdown that secured him the win. He followed that up with another point-proving moment as he took on former Canelo opponent, John Ryder. If Munguia was going to really earn this life-changing fight, he needed to make a statement. And that's exactly what he did. Doing what Canelo didn't, stopping Ryder in the ninth round. On Cinco de Mayo weekend, May 4th, 2024, 11 years and five divisions removed from Munguia's pro debut and he is going to make the most important ring walk of his career as he takes on Canelo Alvarez in one of the biggest fights in Mexican boxing history. A dream has now become a reality. But for Jaime Munguia, true satisfaction only comes with a win.